Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I am so excited, of course, because this is my favorite kind of video to film. We are going to be doing a lip swatch video. I literally just got this box in the mail of the new ColourPop Lux Velvet Lipsticks. I'm so excited. I have the entire collection here to swatch for you guys, which comes with seven different duos. So we have 14 different lipsticks to swatch. I will not only be doing those live lip swatches, but I will also talk through my thoughts on the formula, the application, how it feels on the lips, the color selection, all that stuff. So we are getting really into the details today with these lipsticks. I am so excited. I cannot wait. Calm down. Oh, by the way, I have a new backdrop. Yay, how cute is that? I had it on my list of things to do like forever to finally get some decorations up back here. Um, it just took me a while because I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. This spot is really hard because it has that hideous little light switch box right there and it's behind my door so I went with little shelves which I think are super cute and then I just have this lamp right here that I got from Target and put some plants on it isn't it so cute so I am filming this video and getting it up for you guys ASAP so this is going to be up and then my background is going to disappear for a few videos because I have a few already pre-filmed pre-edited that are gonna have to wait because this is more important. So this will be my new backdrop, but if you see a couple more videos with a plain background, that's why. So if you wanna see all of these lipsticks swatched on my lips so that you can pick out your perfect shade, then we will jump right into it. Before we do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe. Also click on that notification bell because I post two to three new videos every single week for you guys. If you are looking for more content from me after this video, click on the description box below because I have links to my blog, my podcast, and my Instagram. I got lots of content for you guys on those platforms as well. Let's do this. Okay, I'm just gonna open up one of these boxes to show you guys the packaging and then we'll get into swatches, don't worry. So this is what it looks like. This is the drop a hint box. Super cute. This is like essentially the same packaging as their ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Concealer. Let me show you guys. This right here. This is just more of like a light pink lid and this is a peach lid. So this just must be their newest stuff. Oops. Definitely much more mini than their like ultra satin lips, ultra matte lips. I will show you guys that too, which we have right here. So these are really long and skinny and these are short and chunky. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly read what they have on the website in the product description. So I just know what to benchmark against. So it says it's a weightless whipped velvet liquid lipstick. And it's what dreams are made of. We'll see. So I am obsessed with the ColourPop Ultra Satin Liquid Lipstick Formula. I love how that looks. I love how it feels on the lips. It's not too drying. It does just have a nice satiny appearance. But it dries down so that it's not messy. So I'm hoping this is similar. We'll see. I guess I don't know what the difference is gonna be between a velvet finish and a satin finish, you know? But I liked that it says it's whipped because it's probably really smooth feeling. So anyway, let's swatch. All right, we have hair tucked behind the ears so that it doesn't get in the way of my lipstick. We are ready to swatch. So the first duo that I'm gonna swatch is called Drop a Hint. So this has like lighter pinks, I'm assuming. So the first shade in there is Keep It Coy. We could Okay, this formula is not at all what I was expecting. I think I was expecting it to be really similar to the Ultra Satin Lip, maybe just like a little bit more of a whipped formula, but the same in terms of coverage. And this definitely is more of like a sheer coverage lip. I don't know if that's just specific to this shade. We'll see as it goes on, but I definitely had to apply a couple layers and then I could really see my lips peeking through with that first swipe. So if you're looking for that full first swipe coverage, that's probably not what these are gonna be, which I don't have a problem with because honestly, sometimes I feel like a lip that is like extremely opaque just looks a little bit startling, like a little bit too much sometimes with certain makeup looks or skin tones. So sometimes I will just go in and like dab off products like that to sheer them out a little bit more. So this is definitely more sheer. And then the formula, oh my gosh, you guys, I have never felt anything like this on my lips. It's so unique. It's really hard for me to describe. It almost reminds me a little bit of Vaseline, but like far less oily feeling. Not that Vaseline feels oily, but 
less of that oil to it, you know? It's like more velvety than that. Oh my gosh, definitely feels whipped on the lips, feels weightless, feels super moisturizing. I don't get it, I don't know what's going on. It feels really good though. And then it looks like it's just got a pretty matte finish. So something like this, I don't really love on myself. I definitely would put a gloss on top because I just prefer a glossy lip. But if you like that matte finish, then you would like this. It's so weird because it looks very matte when I'm looking in the mirror, but it does not feel like a matte lip. Holy crap. And then as far as the shade, I think this is not the most flattering on me on its own. I would love to use this in the center of a lip or to lighten up a deeper lip. I think it would be perfect for that. But it's just a little bit too pale, a little bit too milky on me right now. So if you were more fair or if I didn't have a spray tan, that would be perfect. And if you like that really like pale pinky nude that's really girly and flirty, this is gonna be your shade. Next we have Genie. Okay, so this shade obviously is a little bit deeper, a little bit more coral, and I can tell it definitely has a little bit more pigmentation than that first shade that I swatched, but at the same time, it definitely still is relatively sheer compared to their other lip products and just other lipsticks that I own. You guys saw I had to go in with a few coats of it, so definitely more of a sheer to light opacity pigmentation type product. And then I think this shade is super pretty. If anything, it might be like a little bit too coral for my liking, which I just personally don't love on myself, but it's nothing too extreme. I do think it's really pretty. All right, next duo we are going to go into is Lofty Goals. Oh, these got a lot deeper. So this is not from lightest to darkest. Obviously that's gonna be the lightest. I don't know why I thought that. I was not paying attention, but we're just gonna roll with it in the order that they have it in the box. Do you guys see how I'm getting that line right there? It's kind of been the case with all of them so far. It's just so slippery because of the formula. It's a little tricky to apply. All right, so this shade I actually love. I would say it's kind of like a corally rose type shade. It's got a little bit of that terracotta vibe to it. I love lips like this in the summer with like a deep tan, really bright highlighted hair. This would be super pretty on those of you that have medium to deep skin tones. I think this is super fun. All right, next we have Puddin'. Like what's the deal? Cause I want you to show me what you feel. Oh. I love this shade too. So this is another orangey terracotta type shade, but this one is definitely more orange and a little bit more brown than that previous shade. Another beautiful one if you had medium to deep skin, a good summer shade. This would be a really good fall shade as well actually because it's kind of that like burnt orange vibe. So it could lean both seasons. Ooh. Mm -hmm. All right, next duo is called Hazy Baby. So this one looks much pinkier. So I feel like all of the boxes so far, the lipsticks inside are not at all what I would guess they would be based on the packaging. Like what? So maybe don't go based off of that. I'm sure most of you wouldn't anyway, but it's kind of random. Okay, the first one is called Buttercup. Like it is, like it is. And open my heart like you're fearless. Steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Show me a lovely breath. All right, so this is definitely like a true pinky coral on me. And normally I am not about coral shades, but there's something about this undertone that just makes it a little bit more flattering and wearable for me. So I do really like this. And I feel like it's the perfect level of depth. Like it's not too dark, it's not too light. It's just, it's good. It's right in between. I probably would not reach for this the most in the collection, but I actually still do really like it. And it's something I could mix with other shades to make it like a little bit more pink if I wanted, a little bit more coral, you know? I'm all about mixing lipsticks, all about it. Next we have Lucky Cat. Sorry, I feel like we're getting a little messy around here. Oh, 
I love shades like this. This is like a medium brick red with like a little bit of brown mixed in there. Like it's not a red, you know? It's got like other shades mixed in there as well, but oh, I love, love, love this kind of lip for the fall and winter. I think it's so pretty. And I feel like it complements blue eyes very nicely, but I'm sure it would complement brown and green eyes as well. Yes. Alrighty, next we have the duo called Kiss in the Dusk. The first shade is called Daily Dose. Oh my gosh, this is such a fun shade. So this is like a true bright orange with like a slightly red undertone, but I would definitely say it's more orange than red. I think this is such a fun shade. Again, another type of color that I love to rock in the summer. If you had medium to deep skin, this would be stunning on you. Oh, so much fun. God, I love a lip like this. Again, this is something that I think really complements blue eyes. Orange and blues work well. Mm. Things are getting interesting and we still have quite a few boxes, three left. All right, next we have Big Bang. Okay, so this is what this looks like in the tube. I was expecting this to be much deeper, vampier, more of like, a maroon shade and this is looking very bright red on me with maybe like a hint of maroon so on me this is like almost the perfect classic all-american red but just slightly deeper like slightly deeper i think it's really pretty though if you love a good red this is a good one all right, next we have the duo called Powder Room, and this is definitely the lightest box of all of them and the most nude. All right, the first shade I'm gonna swatch is called Casual Dress. I wish I swatched this first because I feel like things are getting really messy after those darker shades, but I love this. This is such a good beigey nude. It has like a little bit, a little bit of a peach vibe to it, but it doesn't look like a peach lip by any means. I think if anything, I would just call it like a brown beigey kind of nude and I love it. I'm obsessed with lipsticks like this. I just cannot get enough of a good nude. So I think you would love this if you like nudes. Next, we have Can You Even? <sighs> Can we guess what I'm gonna say? This is definitely my favorite so far. So this is another really beautiful nude. It's definitely got a bit of a brown undertone to it, but it also has kind of like a hint of a purpley mauve in there as well, which is really close to my natural lip color. So shades like this, I always just find really flattering on myself. Anytime that you can find a lip color that has a similar undertone to your natural lips, I think you will find just looks the most flattering and the most natural on you. So um, I'm obsessed with this. This is definitely my fave so far. All right, the second to last duo is called Puff Miami. No, it's called Puff Mommy. First is called Room Service. Like nothing could stop us. Sunsets, remember the colors. They were wrong. It was way more than a dream. Oh, this is another really good nude. This definitely compared to the previous duo that I swatched is much more warm toned. So if you can kind of pick up on that in there, it's just got like a little bit more of like a orangey brown, but it's not orange. You know, it's like, that's just the slight undertone we're getting. It's subtle, but I think that that's really pretty. I don't know. It's just like buttery looking. I love that. I think that's super pretty, which I said a million times. All right, next we have Get Money, and I feel like things are a disaster. I'm definitely getting some flaky skin around here, so, so sorry. Try to ignore if you can. You 
Okay, so this shade I really love as well. We have another kind of brick kind of color. So this is like a rusty red. That sounds like such a gross way to describe that, but you know what I mean? It's got that like rusty reddish brown vibe going on. Another stunning shade for fall and winter. This would be a really good one for those of you that are interested in wearing a deeper lip, but you don't want something that's so vampy, so dark, like a deep purple or anything like that. This could be a good transition shade to that. You know, it's not too much, but I think it's really, really pretty. This is super flattering as well, even though it is a deeper shade. All right, thank God we have made it to the last duo. And that is what the fluff. First we have Southbound. This is definitely the purpliest shade that I have swatched so far. I would say this is a really good wearable berry magenta shade. It's not too bright, it's not too neon looking. It's definitely bold and it's definitely deep, but I would say in a very wearable way. So I really like how this is a good mixture between a warmer pinkier magenta and a cooler berry type shade. I think it's like the perfect combination of the two. So if you are a berry lip kind of girl, you would probably love this. For the love of God, we have the last shade and it's called Hermosa and I feel like this is gonna be a disaster. I actually really love this. I don't have anything like this in my collection. This is more of like a true berry. It's much more purpley than the previous shade that I swatched and it's definitely deeper as well. But again, I feel like this is wearable and still flattering even though it is deep and bold. I surprisingly really like this. I think for sure with this shade and the previous shade and some of those deeper shades, you need a lip liner because that just, mm, that was, Getting messy. The line around the lip was a little bit jaggedy. Okay, so now that we have swatched all of those, let me give you guys my overall thoughts on these Lux lipsticks and if I would recommend them or not. So this is the most unique lip formula I have used probably ever. I would say the closest thing it reminds me of is an Ofra liquid lipstick. If you've ever tried that liquid lipstick, it's definitely like whipped and moussey and this feels similar to that, but I would say with like a drop of Vaseline mixed in. Like there's just something that gives me that Vaseline vibe, but not in a gross way. So I think the consistency as far as how it feels on the lips is amazing. Like I really, really love how this feels. It's lightweight, it's hydrating. I just don't really feel like I have anything on my lips except for like a little chapstick, you know, it feels good. The issue with the formula is when you're applying it because it is so slippy and slidey, it's really hard to be precise with it. So I honestly would recommend wearing a lip liner with this lipstick for any shade, but especially the deeper shades because it's just, you know, you guys saw as I was applying, it's a little bit tricky because it'll move around and so that doesn't mean it's bad. It's just something that you have to be aware of and be careful of when you're applying so that you don't have a jaggedy lip like I did, you know, multiple times in this video. But other than that, I do really like the formula. Also, you guys saw I had to apply like multiple swipes on my lips to get like the full opacity that I wanted. If you want something that has that super sheer vibe, you could definitely do that. But I think the issue is that so many of these colors are bold or deep or bright or they have like a lot of color to them so you want to make sure that the pigmentation is even across the lips and in order to do that you need to get like a few dips into the tube so that's not something that really bothers me a ton that wouldn't make me not recommend a lipstick to somebody i just want to let you guys know that i would recommend using them in that way you know and then as far as the color selection i think that the colors are really pretty overall I think, you know, for me personally, I love a good nude, so I maybe would have liked to see more in that range because I feel like some of those beginning pinky colors were a little bit pinkier than what I personally like to go for. 
but I don't know. Everyone's got their own personal preference when it comes to a lipstick shade, obviously, and they do have a good variety of colors in here. I didn't feel like anything was too similar to each other. Like they all definitely have a unique vibe and do something different for the lips. So I definitely would recommend all the shades if you want them, but you don't need all of them, of course. And I was gonna rank these, but I don't know that I can. I think my favorite duo for sure is Powder Room, which is the one that has Casual Dress and Can You Even. So that's these two right here. Of course, it's like the nude pinky lips that are not too pink, they're a little beige. I just thought those were the most flattering on me. Obviously the most like natural looking, if you will. But as far as the rest, they're all just gonna depend on what colors you like on yourself. So if you like a berry type lip, then what the fluff is gonna be your kind of box. If you prefer a lip that looks a little bit more red, you know, that like burnt brick vibe that I was talking about, then you would love Kiss the Dusk. So it's really just gonna depend on what you prefer the most. I honestly like all of them. I didn't feel like any of them were really unflattering on me. There's obviously ones I would reach for more than others just because I prefer those types of shades, but I don't think you can really go wrong as far as these duos. So maybe you should just get them all. And then the last thing I'm gonna say, obviously I'm not doing like a wear test of these lipsticks, but oh, that's not as bad as I thought. So we definitely have a little bit of transfer there, but I thought that was gonna be a mess. Okay, that surprises me. I'm gonna wear these tonight, or I'm gonna wear one tonight, and I'll let you guys know in the comments below how it holds up. My guess is that it's not going to be the most long wearing lipstick, and if you're drinking things and eating, it's probably gonna get smudgy. I'm just saying that because of the way that I applied it. Obviously, again, it's slippery, slidey, so I'm guessing it'll probably slip and slide a little when I start to do those things, so we'll see because that surprised me though. I was expecting there to be more transfer. So anyway, I think that's everything I have to say about these lipsticks. So overall, would I recommend? Do I like them? Yeah, I think I would 100% recommend these. They feel so good on the lips. There's a really fun color variety. You'll definitely find something that you like as far as these duos. And I really like actually that they have those duos because I think the colors, you know, complement each other nicely, but they're different enough to where you would want both. So I think that that's really fun. Anyway, enough rambling. I think this is a really pretty lipstick shade. It's definitely unique and you have to work with it a little bit, but I think it's worth it and it's something I'm really excited to continue to use. I'm happy that I purchased them. Really good, flattering, wearable shades. Yes, ColourPop. I love ColourPop lips, so I'm not surprised that I loved them. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it and you wanna see more lip swatch videos from me, I will link all of the lip swatch videos that I have in my description box below. I still need to do one where I swatch all of my ColourPop bullet lipsticks because I have a ton of those, so I need to do that one for you guys too. But if there's anything else you would like to see from me on this channel next, whether that be makeup related or skincare, health, fitness, anything you wanna see, let me know in the comments below. I would be happy to do that for you. Otherwise, my next video will be up in a few days. So until then, I hope you have a great few days.